Hey guys, and welcome to the November 2020 unboxing of the Keto Box. Before we jump in, don't forget, you can get a discount off of your very first Keto Box by using the link in the description box below. Also, before we jump in, I wanna say that, unfortunately, Keto Box will no longer be able to sponsor a giveaway for an extra box, so I won't be able to give away a box for commenting on this video, but I still wanted to do these unboxings and smash the box just honestly so I can have exposure to new products and so that I can bring those products to you as well. But hey, you won't be able to win one free, but you will be able to get a discount on your very first box by using the link in the description box below. Enough of that, let's get to the snacks. Okay, this is exciting. The first thing we have is this Proudly Pure Parmesan Crisps. I have tried these before. These are really good. These are the Parmesan flavor. The one thing I like about these is that they are the size of this box. So normally any Parmesan crisp that we get is like the size of a quarter. These are huge crisps, okay? So there are two servings per container. One serving is four crisps because once again, they are quite large. We have 110 calories, seven grams of fat, one gram of total and net carbs, and nine grams of protein, yeah just good old fashioned crisps. These work really well to dip into things because they are quite large. I am a fan of these, so I look forward to trying them. Oh, oh my gosh, something else we have. I have not heard of this in such a long time that I didn't know they were still a company, but hey, Nextella. This is a chocolate hazelnut spread. Oh, sugar-free, it's like that other kind, but sugar-free. Oh, this is exciting. What's not exciting is how thin <laughs> this little, <laughs> sample is oh they want to make sure you only have a sample right so you can go buy some but boy i've had my share of chocolate hazelnut spreads before and they're delicious these are just delicious mm, it doesn't have any nutritional information on it so i'm guessing we can go to the website nextella.com that is www.nextella.com but i'm gonna say it's probably like two to three grams net carbs per serving and this is gonna be exciting. I love this. Okay, I knew the box was a little heavy today and that is because we have fat tea. This is heirloom peach iced tea. You know, I am not mad at the beverages that they include in these. And orange is my favorite color, so this is really speaking to me right now. I guess I'll be interested to try it. Fat tea, zero sugar iced tea, heirloom peach. For one can, there's 15 calories, 0.5 grams of fat, two total carbs and two net carbs, and then 0.1 gram of protein. So this is just full of carbs, basically. The ingredients are water, acacia fiber, modified coconut oil, monk fruit juice concentrate, natural flavors, citric acid, organic ground green tea, Himalayan pink salt, and purified stevia leaf extract. I wonder what the modified coconut oil is. So this is like MCT tea. It's like MCT, you know what I'm saying? Huh, interesting. But how much oil can really be in here if there's only 15 calories in this? Like that can't be enough to be substantial, but hey, I will be looking forward to trying this. Oh my gosh, Richard is going to be so excited. Smart cakes, but I'm gonna be so excited because they're chocolate. I think Richard had smart cakes for the first time last month and he absolutely loved them. We had like a raspberry kind. I think it came in the keto crate, but boy, this chocolate. Oh, this chocolate is gonna be exactly what I need, yes. Smart cakes are like little mini cupcakes, little mini muffins. I am so excited. Also, they have really good macros. I mean, they're basically air, let's be honest. Chocolate flavored air, but they're still delicious. For this entire container, which is how I would eat them, 76 calories for two smart cakes, five total grams of fat, 18, here's the thing, 18 total carbs, 10 of those are fiber and eight of those are erythritol. So still for two of these, allegedly it's zero net carbs. I mean, you cannot beat that. And then eight grams of protein. Like I love smart cakes. Like I told Richard, the only reason that the smart cakes we received last month weren't my favorite was because they weren't chocolate. Oh, well guess what we got this month? A chocolate. Oh, I'm so excited about that. Oh, the, the box is also heavy because 
We have some Chalk Zero Pumpkin Pie Syrup. Wow. I have no idea what to do with this, but look how, can you see how thick this is? Like that air bubble is taking a long time. Whoa, giving me some lava lamp vibes. Jeez Louise, that looks pretty thick. What do you do with pumpkin pie syrup? Like, what do you do with this? There isn't another sugar-free syrup quite like ours. With no sugar alcohols and no preservatives, we've created something special, thick and rich. You're right. Our syrups are made with real and simple ingredients. They are the perfect decadent topping for any breakfasts or desserts, as well as a great way to sweeten up homemade marinades and sauces while cooking. Mm, so like maybe are they saying that like you would maybe put this on some pumpkin spice waffles or pancakes or something like that? Okay, I could see that. Maybe put it on like some vanilla ice cream for like a pumpkin pie. I don't know, guys. I'm not really into fruit and or pumpkin flavored syrup. So this isn't just like floating my boat right now. Like if this was chocolate syrup, I'd have to cut this off and I'd be already, you know, like downing this, right? But like, I mean, pumpkin pie syrup, I'm at least interested to see what it tastes like. Okay, there are 17 servings per container. Jeez Louise. A serving is one tablespoon or 20 grams. That's actually not quite bad. There are 35 calories. There are zero fat, zero protein, but there are 16 grams of carbs and 15 grams of those are fiber. So one net carb. The very first ingredient, soluble corn fiber, non-GMO resistant dextrin. Yeah, I mean, this is just syrup. I don't know what it would do to your blood sugar, but like, I'm interested to see how it tastes. Pumpkin pie is not gonna be my like super jam, but I am excited to try Chalk Zero Syrup because I've never had it before. Oh, and then we have some Crazy Go Nuts Garlic Parmesan All Natural gour Gourmet Walnuts. I have had these plenty of times before. They also donated a lot of walnuts for Keto Palooza and I was really excited about that. So these are just garlic Parmesan. Serving size, one per container, 220 calories, 22 grams of fat six carbs and two fiber so that's four net carbs that's not bad for these delicious walnuts and five grams of protein yeah the packaging says don't tell them we said this but walnuts are kind of a pain in the butt on extremely rare occasions a shell or membrane might make its way into your walnuts oh i know walnuts are a pain in the butt that's why i would never eat them if i had to shell them myself so thank you crazy go nuts for doing the hard work for me but i've had these before once again, I'm not really a fan of savory nuts. Like I would love these to be sweet, but the flavor of these is quite good. Okay, wow, something I've never heard of before. So I'm excited, Hungry Buddha Triple Chocolate Keto Bar. First of all, I love bars. Second of all, I've never heard of Hungry Buddha ever, ever. So I am excited to try this. I mean, a bar is a bar is a bar. You know what I'm talking about? Nutritional information, serving size, one bar, calories, 170, 10 grams of fat. Let's see, 16 total carbs, 11 fiber. So that's five net carbs and nine grams of protein. Let me see if there's any allulose in this. Nope. The ingredients start with fats blend, sunflower seed butter, sunflower seeds, cocoa butter, MCT coconut oil. Those actually aren't bad ingredients to be the very first ones. Then we have soluble tapioca fiber, chicory root fiber, like all these fibers and whatnot. So then we get to the, I'm sure it's like a chocolate coating or something. There's unsweetened chocolate and there's semi-sweet chocolate sweetened with cane sugar. So these are like regular sugar chocolate chips, but I'm guessing not enough to do any real damage. But I mean, I'll be interested to try it. I love trying new things. Oh, speaking of new things, have I heard of Jojo? Goes Hawaiian, JoJo's Goes Hawaiian. No, if I can't pronounce it, I've probably never heard of it before. So these are little snack thingies. So dark chocolate plus coconut, sea salt, and macadamia nuts. These are like little bites. You get 10 bites. And I love how there's like a little window on the back here so you can actually see them. That is exciting. No, I've never had these before. JoJo's Goes Hawaiian because of the coconut and macadamia, I'm sure. I'm excited about that. Okay, a serving size is three bites, which that annoys me, okay? If you're gonna include 10 bites in a bag, why would the serving size be three bites, okay? Either include nine or 12. Oh, that's all I'm saying. Math nerd. 
calories, 150 calories, 15 grams of fat, 14 total carbs, three fiber, so that's 11 net carbs with eight erythritol, that takes it down to three net carbs. Okay, three for three bites, not too bad. Uh, and then four grams of protein. Yeah, I'm really interested. Even though it has a little pocket window, I can't really see them all that well. So I am definitely interested in trying these. Oh, what I'm not interested in trying is a beef stick. Oh, but see, here's the thing. At least this is flavored. This is, what brand is this? It just says beef stick, like garlic and herb, real beef stick. I mean, I have no idea. Like, is the brand real? I have no idea. But at least this is supposed to have some sort of flavor to it, so. That's gonna be more exciting. Yeah, I mean, I have no idea. I can't tell what, what the brand is on here. Okay, nutritional facts. One stick is 80 calories, five grams of fat, one total carb, but it says there's three grams of total sugar. So that's interesting. Seven grams of protein. I don't know how they get one gram of carbs if there's three grams of sugar. I don't care. I'm not going to be eating enough of it to matter, but yay, beef stick. Oh my gosh. Someone was just asking me about this a couple days ago. Like, is there such thing as keto oatmeal? This is the closest you're going to come to it. Now, the thing that I can say is this is probably old. Like high key has completely changed their packaging and everything. And I don't even know if they make this stuff anymore. Like, I don't even know if they make this hot cereal. If so, I'm sure they've migrated it over to the new packaging. But regardless, this stuff is delicious. Although this is the strawberries and cream flavor. So this is high key instant hot cereal. Just like the regular cinnamon sugar version of this is delicious. So I'll be interested to see the strawberries and cream. There are two net carbs per serving. Calories, 160 grams, 12 grams of fat, 10 total carbs, four fiber and four erythritol, and then nine grams of protein. So the ingredients are like hemp seeds, coconut and sunflower seeds, like things that really kind of gelatinize when you heat them up with water. I mean, the consistency and the texture of this stuff is absolutely great. So I'll be interested to see what the strawberry flavor has for us. Oh, and then finally we have Keto Mana. So by Go Synchro, this is chocolate fudge, low carb, healthy fat, wonder food. So this is probably like, you know, like a fat bomb in a pouch. What is this? Organic coconut butter, organic cocoa paste, and MCT oil. So yeah, this is like a, a chocolate coconut spread. Uh, this stuff is good. Look, you gotta knead and squeeze. Man, man, knead and squeeze. I love kneading and squeezing. Okay, so for one pouch, there's 224 calories, 22 grams of fat. Gosh, eight total carbs and five fiber. So that's three grams of net carbs in here uh and then three grams of protein hmm. okay i will be excited to knead squeeze and eat this all right guys that is everything in the keto box this month overall i'm excited it kind of seems like a hodgepodge like this kind of just seems like oh what all leftover stuff do we have let's go ahead and get rid of that but let's throw in some new things as well like for instance this fat tea this Chalk Zero is high quality. I do love the Jojo Bites and the Hungry Buddha, but there are just also some random things in here that I'm like, hmm, wonder if they had that sitting around. Regardless, this is stuff that I'm going to be very excited to try on Unlock the Box, so I can't wait. Comment down below, which of these items have you ever tried before? Which would you be most excited to try? For me, it's probably gonna be these little bites in the Hungry Buddha bar, cause I've never had it. So that's exciting. This was a great keto box. Random, I feel like, but great nonetheless. Don't forget, you can get a discount on your very first keto box by using a link in the description box down below. Okay, guys, I'm excited. I'll see you on Unlock the Box. Bye. Yeah, see, I'm just getting a little too distracted right now. Okay.